So, I heard a nice little ditty yesterday. Quote I heard somewhere. I was reading it in a book, I think. And that was one of the obvious things about ascension into, and by that I mean awakening in the sense of becoming conscious that you are more than what you thought. So moving towards a higher level of consciousness if you like. One of the noticeable things about that is that you find yourself going from ego to heart. So previously before all of this I was never a me me person. Obviously I had to be me orientated, ego orientated in many areas of my life and cultivating you see I guess there was a degree of selfishness I would like to think the majority of what I used from my ego was the useful stuff you know that kept you motivated, kept you pushing forward to be the best you could be like I know there was many other elements growing up I needed to get rid of insecurities and I'm pretty sure I transcended those but even before my awakening if you like I was never me, me orientated. I was being quite a tithing soul. I like to give to others. But I digress. If you are constantly thinking, constantly thinking about what you want, where you're going, what you get back, what matters to you, you're not, you're not there yet. I'm not there yet. Many are not there yet. But I'm on a step closer. And that step closer comes from, with regularity, doing things not from ego, but from heart. Which means generally, or the what you're doing, the what you're saying, the what you're trying to communicate, is for the benefit of others, wholly, all of you, as a whole, collective. Whether that's the people in your social circle, or soul circle, as I've come to know it, as well as you know those that you don't know that you could touch from afar maybe with a message maybe with a video bottom line is awakened is also defined as you are ascending you're ascending to a higher level of consciousness you are awakening and like I said awakening began for me within this 3d matrix as to confirmation of this ain't right, I don't, don't believe this current situation, I smell a rat. But that wasn't the first part of my awakening, I mean even when I was young, I knew that the system was massively corrupt, I need to wake up to it, we were being controlled, and there was a degree of mind control going on, and I knew about indoctrination. But it wasn't until the this current situation, 19 months ago, unfolded, and I really started to realise what it, the intent is behind it. I actually realise how fucking sinister this whole thing is. So there's an awakening in terms of that. I've woken up. And like I said before in other videos, that led me down a dark place. You know, which, to be honest, in an emotional sense, put me on my fucking knees for a bit. I could not believe it was there's such deprivation on the planet. Anyway, from seeing such dark, I, don't know, I needed to find light, so I, I sought the light. And I'm not religious. I didn't go to any religion. And I started to connect with nature. I've always been quite spiritual, I guess, but put that on an acceleration mode. And, you know, various sort of things talked about in other videos, won't go on about them again, but my awakening transcended from being awake to the current situation to being aware and awake to the fact that there's so much more to us. You know? So I've definitely moved out of this 3D matrix towards a higher vibration. And you know when you're doing that, when most of your actions and thoughts are less about you and more about others. So that's what I guess is meant by going from the ego to the heart yeah. so 
spending time with those you care about now that are on the same page as you your soul tribe if you like is where the majority of your attention should lie but you should always strive to maybe enlighten others to a degree maybe enlighten others to a degree of what's going on yeah. those of them that just can't see it and won't see it then you're not here for them anymore but there's also people conversely that are waking up every day to what's going on that are really struggling and I believe that anybody who is here to you know, who has woken up, who is enlightened on the levels I've just been talking about and is in any way known or has a platform then it's their responsibility to shout that message out to others regardless of what you know, naysayers think regardless of where it puts you in the popularity polls I couldn't give a fuck not by my own admission but by others I've been considered in the top three in the world within self-protection and combatives fraternity I've realized that combatives is my vehicle to bring others to a higher level of consciousness be that before my awakening I've taught them skills that have made them more confident that have made them more capable I've taught them some strategy over the years that people only treat you the way you let them and now they've drawn a line in the sand well that's an enlightened consciousness it's a high level of consciousness if you like and that's gone much further with people that have become their own peaceful warrior you know, thrown the monkey off their back of being ego and throwing a weight around which really comes from insecurity know they're a capable warrior and have that skill under voluntary control well now you're as a high level of consciousness regardless of any awakening to current situation or awakening in a spiritual sense that's still a higher level of consciousness so that person has ascended oh, sorry as you ascend you'll want to help others you want to sp spread your message so to those of you that are waking up to this 3D matrix and are realizing that there's something not quite fucking right and even if you've just got a niggling doubt oh, but you better try being called a conspiracy theorist which is becoming an old hat word now because conspiracy theory ceases, ceases to be theory once it becomes fact but if you are got a niggling doubt, niggling doubt anyway this isn't right why are we all doing this I know this piece of cloth doesn't do fuck all why am I putting it on my face why am I too scared to stand up and be cowards? And what are the consequences of that if we all don't? There's a dawning. Well, that dawning is the start of your awakening. Don't hide it. Embrace it. You can't hide it anyway because there's snowballs that just hit you in the face like a tree. But embrace it. And if you've got that and you're surrounded by people that are so indoctrinated that they're just little sheep that are just going to run to the transhumanism lineup before the slaughter then you may feel quite alone quite on your own that's why I say try and find your soul circle your soul tribe those that think like-minded spend the majority of your time with them but where possible you should still seek you know, to wake others up and like I said when you come across somebody like that that's getting the dawn and that's the start of their awakening well what happens next is, you know, it's like I talked about before is the symptoms of grief you realise that you've lost what you thought was your life. So everything you've fucking known is bullshit. First part of that loss is denial, which is where most of these people stay. Then when they get the dawn in, it's anger. <laughs> Righteous indignation. You've been fucking lied to, you've been fucking had, you should be angry. And then it slips to foreboding or depression. Oh my God, what am I going to do? I'm not dissing anyone by saying that. I went through the same process. But many people that I've been created collectively soft are going to struggle. You know, I come from a fucking small school of hard knocks, so I went another day at the office, I've got to be honest, but my perception of what has been in recent times has been met with. Right, what is it now I need to do? How do I need to adapt? It certainly hasn't been met with capitulation. Most people are not arduous enough to have that resilience. And the only reason I've got that resilience is because I've come from 
fucking tougher upbringing than a lot of people that have been pampered in the last few decades. But they'll be struggling. And as they go through this depression, eventually there's a point where they come to bargaining. You know, well, all right, well, this is different now, but this is still so. And what you start to notice is when you, you, you lose certain things, you start to fucking appreciate them. See, freedoms being one. Everyone took the freedoms for granted too much. Those that just accept the way this is are going to lose the freedoms forever. You no know, point crying about what you ain't got when it's gone. You know, this is a window of opportunity to stand up and fight for your freedoms. But what you realise, even through the restrictions that have been in vogue, getting out to do one or two things has been great. Well, what's happened there? Well, you suddenly realise how important the things are that you took for granted are. And you spend more time and more attention to them, so you're more in them than in the now. And now you're experiencing life. You're realising that your life before was rich, you just didn't see it. That's just spark indignation because you fucking want it back. Right? But the acceptance point is you realise to flow with what you can't do nothing about. And you embrace and enhance what you can do something about. And that's where the acceptance comes in. But what you want is acceptance with positive forward drive where you intend to get like-minded people together, as many as you can, thinking along the same lines, so that you're not alone anymore. You know? Because there's a good chance that we could split off here into communities, mutual assistance groups for a time. You, know, you want like-minded people around you. But when you come across those people that are going through that transition and that understanding and that somewhat of an awakening, and they may be in that angry stage, borderline depression now. They need your help. They need you to sit down and coax them and show them a direction. I believe that's my purpose. My purpose as a... You know, somebody standing for what's right. Is that a light worker? But one that is also primarily malevolent. Knows malevolent because he's been touched by it. Like I said before, you know, grey worker, fucking grey Jedi. I stand for the good. But equally, I know the bad, and I stand in front of the good to protect it from the same. And I can muster a fucking level of dark that will fucking eclipse theirs. At least, that's what my belief system will be in vogue and in line to do. It doesn't matter whether that's true or not. If I believe it's true, it's fucking operational. So I'll stand for the good, protect the innocent and the weak to the best of my ability. But the primary reason is to lead and awaken others to what's going on so there's more and more people are on the same page. And then there be times when there are those that are forced into, everybody's going to be forced into awakening, so make no mistake about that, right? The apocalypse means the lifting of the veil, that's all it means. It doesn't mean nothing to do with Mad Max, it means lifting of the veil to reveal what's so. In the age of Aquarius, it's the time of knowing. So everything is going to be made clear soon enough that, you know, that we've been lied to about everything, including this hoax. And that lied to in the main sense of what we are, what we're capable of. You know, they really don't want you to realise what power you have within you. And collectively, as a, a collective consciousness that all thinks in the same way, that's what is feared most by these inorganic entities that have ruled us for way too long. And when we come together and recognise that and unify, this is over for them. You know, that would be ideal, sharpish, because it's going to go that way anyway. But until more and more and more people think that way this could take longer and longer but the point is if you're awake to the degree maybe not to the degree i am maybe to the degree i am in terms of you've been down a rabbit hole and you've sorted the wheat from the chaff and you know what's what you should be communicating that message with others if you are spiritually enlightened now this confuses me so i saw I went to Glastonbury for the summer solstice and it was the day after my birthday, so I got there the day before my birthday. We went into Glastonbury village, which is gorgeous, just considered the heart chakra of 
the earth, if you like. And there's people from all walks of life. And I'm watching these four people walk down the road. And they stop by the shop. And there's this tall, skinny guy, he must be like 21, 22, any of that. Wearing a silly fucking wizard's hat. Dressed like fucking a wizard. Yeah, being very spiritual. Which is great. But he had a fucking mask on. So I went up to him and I said, Mate, how the fuck can you be spiritually aware, spiritually awake, wearing a mask? Do you believe all this? Well, we've got to wear them in shops, haven't we? Well, not if you're exempt to bullshit and tyranny. Not if you're willing to stand up and you know, say no. And that doesn't sit with you. You can even get a uh, hidden disability exemption so you don't have to wear it. But the action of wearing it is saying that you acquiesce, you agree, because it's all about silence, you're following the herd. And do you know what he said? He went, well, we've, we've got to do as we're told, haven't we? Couldn't fucking believe it, I wanted to slap him silly. Higher version of myself, let him off. <laughs> and I said, well, that's the fucking reason we're here. So you need to be aware of this spiritual awakening stuff, right? It's not all harps and fucking rainbows. They, they kind of sabotage that as well, so they sabotage the spiritual awakening thing by making this new age modern spirituality where, you know, they're mellow and super and look at the earth and are in touch with Gaia and all of that. But the thinking is, everything is set as it should be, no resistance. Just let it be, don't resist, do as you're told. That's uh, a wolf in sheep's clothing, if ever I've seen one. So, <laughs> I digress completely, but that, that element is not awake. They're not fucking awake. They've just jumped on the latest vogue of what's lately in vogue. So be aware of that. But you'll know if you are becoming more spiritually aware, if you are achieving a higher level of consciousness, because your mind will feel sharper. You'll be more intuitive. Things that suited you before don't suit you anymore. So things that were probably less than of any use to you. Now, maybe that's recreational drugs, maybe that's alcohol or cigarettes, maybe that's watching too much porn. Whatever the fuck it is. Stuff will not sit as comfortably with you anymore. Maybe your opinions, like, yeah, I used to be a bit of a joke start, walk past people, and there's always these certain areas where you know, people look less fortunate than yourself, let's say. We used to have this area in Southampton called the Mutant Mile in Shirley, where it's just like previously you would have called them you know, crossbreeds, interbreds, whatever. Somebody that's this list doesn't go all the way to the top. And you might have made a, a joke, such as along the lines of fucking hell, who's your mate? I'll be honest, I should do that. But now when I see these people, I don't do that. I feel like a soul connection almost. Almost a. I'm sorry that you're. You know, things are more unfortunate for you right now than they are for me. And I'm grateful that I have abundance and I hope you do well. It's that. I'm not, I don't look at anyone and take the piss anymore. Doesn't mean I haven't got the same, you know, South East London dry stick sense of humour. I have. Like I say, I'm a grey worker, you know, there's a little bit of dark there, it needs to be there. I certainly do have some black humour still. But there's no judgement. Well, a lot less anyway. So I know that certain things don't serve me uh, as much as they did or at all. <laughs> and with that, I've lost connections with people. And I told you before, I lost connections with family. But the point is, this ascension is continuing for me. It's, it's snowballing. I'm getting more and more in tune every day. Everything that I've learned is being more and more confirmed. And, and I think that's because there's been a shift in consciousness on a planetary level. And I think it's affecting more people than you know, know it yet or are coming forward. So like I say, so if you're starting to get any kind of itching, this ain't quite right, something ain't right, don't put it to, don't put it to sleep. Don't bury it, you never bury it anyway. It always comes back, it just comes back bigger. Embrace it, I don't explore it. 
even if it gives you ridicule at work with your family with your friends speaking your truth even if your voice starts to shake because adrenaline dries your throat up shout your fucking mind shout your truth you've got three brains this one here which is been misdirected clouded and controlled it's not reliable it's been compromised so don't just use this then you've got your instinct and then you've got your heart explore if you feel there's something not quite right because like I said that's the start of your awakening and if you're starting to feel more compassion towards your fellow human fellow living species life always been in tune with the forest always been in tune with animals and love that but massively so amplified now and with people that are on the same page or I see people pulling some people old lady walking down the street hunched over on a frame as she's trying to walk along desperately trying to breathe because she's wearing a mask breaks my heart you know I don't have a grandmother great grandmother they passed when I was little but I'd love to have had a grandmother great grandmother and I see these old folks and they're really scared they're so scared of dying and they're not living and collectively those that have created this and all the other suffering that's ever gone on since ever, forever and ever you know will be held culpable as the vibration of this planet increases so its lower densities will decrease yeah but a good sign which was the purpose of the video if you feel more compassion towards people if you feel like you need to speak your message out no matter what your platform is, it could be telling one person who tells someone else. It could be you've got a YouTube channel like this. Whatever it is, do your utmost to wake as many people up as you can to at least the level you're at. At least get them to explore for themselves. And when you're doing that, you realise you're no longer working out of a place of ego, but more from a place of heart. Just something to think about. Peace.